and I'm talking to a woman who feels her strength is going low. Just like that woman, I can imagine you are oozing blood, and when you don't have blood, you don't have strength. Mm. And she was she she, she strived her way. Akangangana ata kigongwa anangana tuona crawl. I can imagine her crawling mm. with no strength. But there is a certain strength that God gives you, mm. and just I'm talking about even grace. Yeah. There's a certain grace and strength that God gives you as a woman. And as you're crawling towards Jesus, to touch His hem, mm-hmm. where there is power. Hi, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. My name is Size Adri Bond. We call now Priscilla Danu and Danu to answer show. Ebu answer show. Ebu ano yada check at you. How are you? I'm so you okay. look nice. You this too. is Mama Wambo. Yes. For those of you joining us for the first time, mm-hmm. na kama kawaida we have an amazing guest. Leo ata before ata ni yangu kuambia asante ni me subscribe nini. I want to introduce our guest, Evelyn. Mm. Karibu. Asante sana. Thank you for hosting me. It's an honor being in the middle of Thank great you. women. Thank you for coming. Yeah. We didn't have enough cash to do our wedding. Mm. So our budget was 300,000. Ni yenye tunategemea inetangwa je fund drive ya ya committee. Yes, yes. And so we didn't have that money. What we managed to get is 75,000 Kenya shillings. Mm. We've been waiting on God for so many things, but so many people that really know me, my circle of friends, they know for so many years down the line, nine years down the line, we've been trusting God for a child, my husband and I. It hit us when yeah. we were requested to become a best couple uh, in, our, in, our, in our friend's wedding. Mm. So, to Kasmamia Rusi, and then the next year they're like, oh, we are expecting. Oh, yeah. So how did you feel? At first, it wasn't, it, it never gave me, um, stress that much but i was like in six years by the way mm-hmm. what is happening to my body and then i started realizing some changes in my body mm-hmm. you know like i would i would miss my periods for four four months five months and i'm just comfortable mm-hmm. and my husband kept on asking me who has a cost of periods for four months now mm-hmm. so my mind is thinking uh probably it's because i travel a lot So change yeah. of weather yeah. might be so I'm just okay because I'm thinking it's just change change mm. of weather so that nothing might because I never used to miss my peas mm. I've never used contraceptives before yeah. mm. so I know nothing is wrong with me mm. when I started my peas uh, as a teenager it used to flow just as normal yeah mm. and so my mm. husband is like I think na fa kuna doctor yeah mm. me like ah sidani Lakini, let, me, let me ask you, Lynn, this whole time, this six years, mm-hmm. you guys had never gone to a gynecologist. We had never gone to a gynecologist. It's that it had never hit it you. It has never hit me because we knew mtoto wana kujanga tu kwa nini ende kwa daktari. Oh, yeah. Oh. We, we had not planned for a baby mm-hmm. until the six years when it started. After that wedding. Yeah, now. after that wedding now. I'm thinking, aya kweli tunapa kukwa na mtoto. Now the seventh year. Wow. Mm. Ndiyo hiyo tena. Ah, tukasimamia wedding ngine tena. Wakapata mtoto. I'm thinking, okay. Yeah. God, what is happening? Mm-hmm. And then the same year is when uh, we got married the same year with Kambua. Mm-hmm. And then Kambua gets pregnant on the seventh year mm-hmm. in our marriage. And I'm like, God, na mimi niko hapa. Na mimi nangoja bado. Kwanza God, sikia tu mbozi nyenye mimi naimbanga waweza. Nikiimba watu wanakujanga kuni ambia testimony zao. Kwa nini mimi uniwezeshei? And I'm sure after ministering, people are like, kwa nini Mungu wako akuwezeshei? Mbona wewe hajibu? Yeah. And what was happening in your heart in your mind? very distressed mm-hmm. very disturbed mm-hmm. because i felt now time is going mm-hmm. and our age is not yeah regressing yeah mm-hmm. we are we are we are growing older we are not growing younger mm-hmm. and so hey god now you have to come this is the seventh year and i can now start hearing people talking yeah. and asking questions and the questions started becoming louder Yeah. You know, the, the other times the questions were not louder like now now they were really loud. loud. What do you mean? Like literally someone would come and ask me, "Kwanini 
kwa nini hamna mtu hii i'll post a, i'll post a, a, a song on youtube <laughs> and i think this is my husband is the one who actually saw it and it really bothered him and so, on on youtube and the first question the first comment first comment on youtube bure kabisa endo kazae so that is so loud it is so loud we post some a picture with my husband on facebook and someone is like sasa tumechoka kuona wewe na your husband so tuwekea watoto wako and the seventh year we decided now let's visit a gyna and we went to the gyna and uh, he was like now guys uh, as i'm looking at you right now you have uh, a, a hormonal imbalance it's a serious one we're putting you on medication and i was put on medication and he said i'm giving you six months down the line to see if you're going to conceive mm-hmm. six months down the line i haven't conceived he said let's try again another six months again oh gosh ah, so that's God. another year mm-hmm. that's another year. one year down and the how line are you coping with all i'm of like that? telling agunda what's all this again niko ini nini sasa like what's this this is the eighth year now this is money that is being used and you know when the enemy tries to sometimes i say even the enemy is involved in this because my money is not even you, you is going uh, for other things for other things yeah. going to a gynecologist especially women who are trying to conceive it's, it's expensive. expensive it's expensive my medication every time i'll visit the doctor sometimes it will go maybe 15,000 20,000 just one visit mm. because of the kind of medication i'm using and that's a lot of money mm. you yeah. know and i would tell agunda what is all this what is all this mm. it's so stressful and sometimes i would get my periods and i would get so mad yeah this is what did unakuja this time you kuona mimi nataka mtoto mimi nataka mtoto because the guy na said to be busy oh we are busy doing what you can do doing yeah. what you can do mm-hmm. <laughs> now god you do your part and it was not an easy place to be mm. and uh, yeah. the eighth year i'm like god sasa mimi nimekuachia me surrender i remember we were in the village with my husband and we had gone to the supermarket to shop for mm. christmas and he sees his friend and he's like hi sasa schoolmate Mm. Ati oni kwa pana kuja kufanyia watoto shopping ya back to school sababu unajua unafanyanga ya Christmas watu wanasahau kwenda ya kufanya eh. yes, shule. Ati kwa ni how old? Ah mmoja kwa form 4, mwingine kwa CG. Man my heart it shrink. Because I could just see Agonda's face is like oh because ataki ile question ya na wewe wako. Mm. So tukaendelea na shopping tu. But that day it was the have you ever shopped asking yourself why am I shopping why and then god has blessed us and now this time god has really blessed us now financially you're But doing yeah, very we, well yeah. god has blessed us god has uh, when you go home there's no baby coming to say mommy daddy uh, Mm. I remember that day my husband was like hey my friends wangu hey schoolmates wangu wote hey most of them were not to kubwa kubwa you know when a man says that he's passing a message but you indirectly mm. but the best thing is that he never used to you know push me or to or use it against at, you yes. yeah wow. and in fact he's the one who told me let's go to the doctor and agunda would go with me to the gyna every single visit he never missed Wow. And he never used to sit at the outside. He used to be there. Everything they would do to me. He's there looking, watching. Doctor Yabinanga sama in ovary is doing is there. Doctor, what next? What do we do? No 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 no, he will be there. Agunda God bless. You. So that is yeah. the kind of support I think I really needed. Anybody else who will tell me anything, it mm. never shook me because I knew he's supporting me. Wow. Wow. Every other voice was Oh, nullified okay. by him yeah because oh. if he had you know rebuked me or told me or, 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 or yeah, to look for other, other people. people other women out there yeah. it would really sh- 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 shock no, me i'm going to ask you a personal question mm-hmm. because many women who cannot oh. give birth mm-hmm. or have issues of birth child birth they, the one fear they have is that their man might go to look for a child elsewhere yeah. Yeah. did you ever have that fear on the 8th year mm. is when he was 40 years old yeah. 
and 40 is when life begins for a man. Mm. And I was like, God, now he's 40 years, no child. What next? I met this guy when he was 27. Mm -hmm. He's now 40 years, God. What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to face? And I remember being so stressed and I was so mad with God because I had done everything. Yeah. And there was, uh, I'd reached a point where I would go to the doctor and he would tell me, uh, you know what? Don't stress yourself too much. And I'm thinking, why should I stress myself? When you stress yourself, you, you will not be able to conceive. And I'd taken a lot of medication and I was so tired. Mm. And I didn't know what to do anymore. Mm. I remember coming to my house and I was listening to a sermon and I was so mad at yeah. the devil and I was so mad at God. Which I went is, to my living room. So I went to my living room in the morning. I knelt down. I mm. cried like crazy. Walked out of the house, went to the barber shop and cut my hair. And you know, those people who know me, I loved my hair even if it doesn't grow. I, I have a problem with my hairline. Mm. And it never used to grow. I, I was so scared of cutting my hair. But I had to cut down my hair because the Bible says the hair is the glory of a woman. Mm. So where is my faith again in God? It's no more. And then God is looking at me and I'm sure he's saying, that's when I create you, and I tantrums. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you forgotten who I am? Mm. To me, it never, I was like, God, I am tired. You know what? This is the end of my conversation with you about a child. I will keep on serving you. I will never ask you again about it. I am so done. Like I'm putting an ultimatum for God. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at me and thinking, mm, I cut my hair. And everybody's like, Una I'm thinking. You, you don't know, know what it represents. And my husband calls the barber and asks him, Kwa nino me mkata boyfi yangu nyele nana kwambia? Kwa nino me kata nyele na kwanza nilele ni kakatu vibaya? Ake, haka mbia chile kuja hapa kataka kukatu wa nike kata aji? And so, I never told my hubby. I decided to serve God. I served God with everything in me. I remember, I think, uh, 2020, I did a lot, even mm. on, on social media. I was busy with, you know, live recordings, you know, praise atmosphere. I yeah. was just busy, 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 busy traveling, you know, serving God. Wow. And I decided, you know what, I will focus on this until when God will decide. But again, I wasn't ignorant. Mm. I kept on taking my medication. Mm. I wasn't ignorant. I said, God, when you come, you will come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine years down the line, I am like, God, uh, yeah, I said, I will never ask you. Before we traveled, I went to see my father-in-law. And every time we want to travel outside the country, we would go to him because he, he was our cover, mm -hmm. you know, and he would pray for us before we leave the country. We went to his house and he prayed for us. And as we were walking out, my husband goes like, <laughs> so weird. Daddy, in case to pat him toto, mezutaka to muite nani? Thinking, why would you ask your dad such a mm. question? As in, we've never even talked, mm. we've never even spoke yeah. to our dad about mm. children. Like, you know, that's a random question. Mm. And my father-in-law turns and says, muite mshindi. I'm like, mm. Agunda is like, hey, daddy, you're a cliche. Sito atako muita kama Jayden, situ nani, iso majina, laki sungu and what? And he kept quiet and he continued watching news. To come back with Harry. We traveled went to Tanzania. I ministered. And uh, when we came back, three days later, our dad went to be with the Lord. And it was the hardest time. My mind was now in how I was going to put dad to rest. Mm -hmm. And um, as we were planning all that, I'm not even thinking now about children, you know? Excuse me. And I continued doing what we had to do in the village. I had a meeting in, in the U.S. I told Agunda now after we buried that he can, can I travel? Mm -hmm. Because now the day for the event is almost nearing. Actually, they had to cancel so that we buried dad and then I travel. 
So when I was traveling in the plane, everybody that is seated next to me is smelling. Kila mutu ayanuka. Yani, na nataka tukukula pilau. So I had traveled with Qatar Airways. So I really loved it. But I kept on vomiting. I kept on feeling bad. I kept on just, I was so irritated. In fact, the person that was sitting next to me, I got to an insignia, so I was like, I'm going to go to the hospital. So I kept on my mask. And so when I arrived in the US, I said, can I get pilau? So they brought pilau. I ate. I vomited. And then the pastor's wife is looking at me and smiling, saying, but you're not glow, Sana. Yeah. I think you're pregnant. I'm pregnant. She's quite pregnant. Because I'm busy, I'm busy, Sana, and I'm busy, 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 you know, the people that are around me, <laughs> Mimi Naskia atmosphere, Aiko on <laughs> my side. Vito <laughs> Ziko on my side. So, I'm going to And then I just want ice cubes. So, I'm going to ice cubes. I'm going to ice cubes. I'm going to ice cubes. Ice cubes. And then I just want scripts. And then I'm just eating. On the altar, as I'm ministering, I'm going to eat Doritos. Chris, na ice cubes. Who does that? Wow. <laughs> and so, my friend says, I think 22 the people. Twenty, no, no, another friend. Her name is Koki. She's like, 22 people have pregnancy kit. I said, Maha, your conversation to have kit, to make covenant in a God. Siko your part. And then she's like, no, let's go and buy. I said, I'm going to buy a little bit of a so they bought me the pregnancy stripes. I said, I'm gonna be my cash or not today. I slept. In the ah. morning, I remembered when I was in the room. Nika kimbe, nika chukwa chui. Nika kuja, nika kapima. Nika angalia, nika wana kale kala ini kamoja, nika sama, si God, si nili kuwambe, nili juwa, si yezi kuwa pregnant. Nika yeka hapo juu ya sink. So I nika flash jo, nika simama, nenda kuwasha mikono. And as I'm looking at that stripe, like this strip, there's a Faded. Positive line. I just felt in the toilet. Mm. You know, I wasn't crying. Unajule makamasi ya maji? Ilikuwa tu inatoka. Na tutemeka, nika ipiga picha chuu. Nika pitumia gunda. Because that's the only person that matters. Nobody else matters. Nika tuma. One second of sending, because I could see it was online, mm. it, it seemed as if it's 10 years. So I thought, Hataja waja yona. Hello? Fungua WhatsApp ya kwa angalia malia. Nisani nini? Na matuwa angalia WhatsApp ya kuliza maswali. Nika kunyo majitena. Nika angalia. So at this time I'm very keen. I'm looking at it. And... So I'm going to be a because I'm going to be a Wow. I was crying in the bathroom. Oh, to God. I was, I was crying like a crazy woman. I, I called my husband again. Umeona? And I'm like, you know, baby, umekuwa koki, umekuwa mgonjwa, uktangu kwe kwa ndenge. I think una hallucinate. Hey. His history, I remember. Yani, mekusumbua mbaka. Because to him, that the first line, the second line was so, f yeah. it's faint. Mm. So to him, he felt as if I'm not, mm. I'm not okay. Mm. I felt my husband is not even, he's not receiving this news the way. Mm. I think to him, we, I he was afraid yeah. of disappointment. Yeah. And leave alone that, mm. I did not know, this is the understanding I came to realize that, I didn't know that both of us, we were trusting God, but our faith was, was doubting. Oh. Yes, yes, your faith was doubting. You have faith, you have seen, yes, God, he can do this and he has done it to others, but you're still doubting him. Mm. That's where we were with God. Mm. We believed, but our faith was doubting. Mm. A very bad place to be. Mm. 
50-50. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Bonango understand it. Mama Yangu do to pige. Mushenev Zuri. They understand it. I sent Mama Yangu. I didn't even send her the picture. I just called. Ni kampata ko online. My mom is like, hello, Habari America. Mm. I was not even responding to Habari America. America. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That is nine years. Right. Tears. You know, oh. hearing my mom's voice was like the oh. limit of it. And she, she was like, Nani ya mekufa tena because we just buried. Nani ya mekufa tena, woy, nani ya mekufa tena. Nini ni mbae na mabia. Nico pregnant, I could scare Kizungu. Ati, Nene, Nico, 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 I remember my mom's prayer, like, God, take my womb and give it to my daughter. Oh. And when a woman speaks like that and cries like that to God, that take my womb and give it to my daughter, is like, I, I don't need this womb again. Mm -hmm. You've already given me children. Oh. To take away the shame in our lives mm -hmm. and the people that have been talking. And to my mom, I think, going to the chama and women talking behind her back. Yeah. It was the hardest. And there. Yeah, I cried, and my host, she started shaking. Anaskia minalia, siungi. Evelyn, anagwanga bedroom yangu, sifungui. Minalia. Minalia, because the lady was hosting me, her name was Rahab. And I told Rahab, 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 nikona mimba. Rahab cried like a baby in her house, and her children were thinking, what is going on? And I told Rahab, you remember the 10 spies that you, you you took and hid them in your house? Because that's the story of Rahab. I'm like that person that has been spying and checking how does God do things? How does he give people children? There's something about you. And I was, I cried. I cried. Wow. I have never cried like that. I said, I'm not staying in America. Cancelled everything, coming back to Kenya. At the airport, I'm like, I'm pregnant. I can't pass through. I can't pass through oh. the screens. I can't pass. I'm pregnant. People look at me, pregnant. You know, <laughs> like, your stomach is flat, you know. I can't, I can't pass through. And I didn't wow. know I'm not supposed to lift the, the, the yeah, suitcases. You're not to lift. Mm. Who told me yeah. all that? Because I'm never invited in any of these baby showers. So these are some of the things that when I'm being a wife to go to a baby shower, we be bangi if it was it or if I could you know. Mm -hmm. Arriving, that was six weeks down the line. I'm pregnant six weeks and I don't know. Wow. Mm. That is one month. Miracle. Two weeks. Two weeks yeah. pregnant. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So That's when you're thicker. going to Tanzania. Jesus came. Amen. Wow. When he was asking that mm -hmm. question, that question, yeah. he came back with a baby. Yes. Yeah. It's so interesting that when we lost our dad, it's like God had my my sisters in law. They lo I love the way they say it. My dad in law had to go and place an order mm -hmm. because someone oh. had to be replaced, and not just anybody, but a baby boy mm. because a generation had to continue. Wow. When I came back at the airport, I think my husband slept there. He was telling me, I'm 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 just here waiting for my family. Wow. Family at a tumboyani, at a kini receive, I'm just flat, but my <laughs> husband is waiting for my family. Yes. I think that is the best statement wow. I had you ever had him say, say, you know? And so he picked me from the airport and received me very well. And we went to the doctor to see the status of the child. Yeah. And they did a scan and they're like, hmm. Sasa, we have to put you on bed rest. Why? Because your child 
is growing downwards. This is called This is called threatened abortion. Oh, yo ni ni meanguka inaitwa je placenta yako low lying, low lying. Oh my god. So, mm. this pregnancy for it to to survive, you have to be on bed rest. Thank God you came back to Nairobi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that and decision to say I have to cancel it because I would be so busy yeah. and probably Yeah, but that too miscarriage ka unatembea. Ni dani ni period. And God came through. Wow. And so I was put on bed rest and mark you I'm preparing for my live recording that is coming. So I cannot do rehearsals with my team. And uh, I remember we calling our 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 music director and we told him you know Evelyn is pregnant and we don't want this information to go out you just rehearse with the team don't tell them anything. Mm. So most of them thought because I'm coming back from the US I have covid. Mm. Mm. That's what they thought. It's okay yeah. them think that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm put on medication so that mtoto mm. asasteenike kwa tumbo. Mm. And the doctor said, uh, keep on checking yourself. I'm telling you this third day, I started feeling pains until I began to crawl in the sitting room. Uchungu. We called the doctor. And the doctor was like, oh, I think the baby is coming out. Ukianza tukona tu damu, just run to the any hospital. This run of watakuosha tu they'll be okay. I'm thinking what are you talking about? Oh my god. You were just saying it as if it's it's, it's just normal. They're like drinking water. I understood. I was still on the other coach. Mm. And a student came and touched my tummy. I'm telling you there is power in prayer. Mm. And he held my tummy and told this baby, "Hey, Where are you going na ndio umekuja tu? Kaa hapo ndani. Kaa hapo ndani. Unaenda wapi na ndio umekuja hata tujakuona? Imagine that is what is. Wow. Unaenda wapi na ndio umekuja tu na hata tujakuona? Kaa hapo ndani. Wow. Ai, that was so powerful. Mimi namwangalia na shimba, mimi na mwana tumbo unaambia mtoto kaa hapo ndani. Nasikia vibaya, I'm so sick. Wow. He said, what? We need to consult. We have to consult another doctor. That is what he said. We, re- we went to our guy the following day. He looked at us and said, ah, this is something simple. The baby will just turn with you in due time. Just relax. Why is she putting you on bed rest? You, you're okay. You're okay. I'm thinking, um, are you sure, Dr. Rexama? Yeah, continue taking the, the Dufaston. Uh, but keep on check that you're okay. The baby is okay. The baby will be okay. Mm. You've been waiting. I have worked with you all these years. Mm. You've been waiting. In fact, we were so happy. Mm. You've been waiting. I don't say this is a miracle child. We can't lose this child. Yeah. Wow. That's encouraging. So I call my mother in love and she's like, you know from now henceforth we are not talking about this pregnancy. Even Jesus alifichwa. Mm. Hata huyu anafichwa kwa sababu sio kila mtu anafaa kujua news zingine until the testimony is ready to be shared. Mm. Wow. So Evelyn started the journey of staying in the house for the next eight months in the house. I think I just, I called you. And I told you, Sijaribu Kwanisha na yo mimba. Mimba. Mbaka ushike mtoto kwa mkono. I think I told you that. I called you. I called Kambua. Very few people that are very close to me. But I was so happy because you were so I happy. was so happy. Wow. I think we spoke, I don't know how many hours. Yes. Before. So I was, you know, we I spoke. was like, you know, I was, aha, I was like, wow, I was mm. so happy. Guy, I was like, you know, when you, when something happened good to pass someone is when you realize how much it yeah. was in your heart. Yeah. Mm. You know, I was, I, I called you because. I think you're the last person I prayed with in your house. Yes. She took me to her son's room. Yeah. And held my tummy. Mm. And said I'm I'm nimekuingisha kwa room ya Moraya. Mimi nimeacha kuzaa sasa sibwezani na hiyo story tena sababu pressure inanisumbua. Lakini sasa na release grace ya kuzaa kwako. I remember I was to travel now in the US I think after some few weeks. Mm. And I, I said, there was a Amen. person that prayed for me. It was hard. And I told you specifically, you must have a son. Yes. So the generation must continue. continue. Amen. 
in her in Moriah's room. Mm. I remember very well, and I was admiring the way the baby's room is so cute. And I'm yeah. here. Yes, you to have a new interior. So you know, I'm I'm change. I'm I'm thinking the baby shower you never got. Yeah, she took me through that. You know, I I have practical. I know there's a day I took and I fasted for her. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I just told God, I can't give her money to go to hospital. What I can do is fast for her. Mm. And I told God if there's any bloodline, yeah. anything in her bloodline that is fighting her destiny, mm -hmm. then we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, and we started the journey of, you know, going to the clinic and checking the baby. And when we were told that we were going to have a baby boy, it was such a beautiful, <laughs> you know, uh, information from a doctor. But one of the interesting things is during my labor time, I remember I labored for eight hours. Mm. And my husband was there with me. Wow. Agunda, we love you. Yeah, yeah. Ja, 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 he's a very guy, good man. He, he was waiting for this baby as I don't think there was anything he's been waiting for so many years, like the way he waited for this child. Mm. And the doctor said, no, I think something is wrong with her. They rushed me to the theater. And when they operated, I, I heard the child crying, Uko. Mm. I didn't know that is my son. Oh. And so Agunda, brought the baby oh. and when he was holding this our son he said baby do oh. you to to wait oh. oh my god i looked at Mushini. he was got tiny but he was so healthy 3.2 and the way my husband smiled he was a picture i think sijal kono na text toto he was there even when they were operating me, the way they removed the baby from the stomach. He was there. Wow. He just watched. They gave him this. He's the one who held Kwamkono before me, Miata Nimshike. And then he just brought this child. Said, baby, don't do it. We just made a baby. Oh. And he did some crazy declarations there. Oh my God, oh. it is the best thing. I don't know who has been waiting on God like I did. I think I've been waiting on God silently and serving him and ministering to people's lives. And I didn't know that having a child is one of the greatest joy a woman can ever experience or in even a man. It's beautiful to carry a human being in you. Wow. We made, I remember I came up with very beautiful declarations from Shindi because we believe this is not just a baby. It's a promise. It's a promise that God promised us. And I kept on asking Agunda, this is the best answer that he has ever said in, I think in, in most of the interviews that we go to. How was it for you in waiting? And he says, there is grace in waiting. Oh gosh, I am that just... Is, <laughs> so there is grace Ooh. in waiting. And for me, I look at him and I say, any woman that has a husband and the husband will go outside to look for Mpango Akando because the wife cannot give birth, is a foolish man. And I'm sorry to use that word because when you vowed, you said, for better, for worse, mm -hmm. in sickness and in health. Mm -hmm. And we don't mean that it's just a, a woman who is going through uh, not being able to, even men, they, are. they have low sperm mm -hmm. counts, mm -hmm. you know? Many men are suffering from that. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just about women and how the society has pictured a woman is the one who has to carry and has to receive all the insults mm -hmm. and all the, the the stress because she's not giving birth yeah a baby is not just made by a woman mm -hmm. it's made by both a man and a woman mm -hmm. 
and how the society has portrayed it, and especially the African setup, it's so wrong. And for me, I thank God. I think I'm, I, I married the best. We are yes, not. We are not. We are not perfect. We all have our <coughs> own uh, uh, differences. Mm. But I think I don't think there is a man that would stand with me and wait with me like that. And I, and for me, I you know, Agunda is always. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, we made some very powerful declarations. Mm. Uh, did I say declarations? It is well. It is okay. <laughs> From Mshindi. Mm. Why? Because he's a winner. We, now we understand why my father-in-law had to say Mshindi. Mm. God had already revealed to him that we are in a battlefield, and especially being uh, ministers of the gospel, mm. we face a lot of opposition, and the enemy is not happy with what we are doing in the kingdom. Mm. And so we were in a battlefield which we did not know yeah. we are fighting. Mm. And that's why we had to fight for us to get this child. Wow. Yesterday I was sharing somewhere and I said, just like this woman who was oozing blood for 12 years, mm. she had to crawl until she touched the hem of Jesus' garment. So what are you unanganganiya nini upate? Is it your marriage? Is mm -hmm. it your children? Is it your business? Mm -hmm. What is it that you've been waiting for? And your blessing is just a, it's just ahead of you. A few meters, nganganiya, crawl until you touch the hem of Jesus. Because there is restoration, there is peace, there is healing. Yes, there are naysayers. As she was crawling, I'm sure so many people were like, They're like, Unanuka, Songa, Kwendo Unanga do, Unajua, at Wesco Kwa Sako Yetu, Way she away, Marija Kotam Kisa Marija Zetu. What a talk on Wesi, you know? You know, so many, what are people saying as you are crawling towards Jesus? And that means there is something that you're carrying that is so peculiar that the enemy will try his best to, 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 to destroy. And you will have naysayers all around you. As she was crawling, they were not just on the left. They were both at the right front. Yeah. It is for you to understand who you are and the power you have and the strength in you. And I'm talking to a woman who feels her strength is going low. Just like that woman, I can imagine you are oozing blood and when you don't have blood, you don't have strength. Mm. And she was, she, she, she strived her way. I can imagine her crawling. Mm with no strength, but there is a certain strength that God gives you. Mm. And just I'm, I'm talking about even grace. Yeah. There's a certain grace and strength that God gives you as a woman. And as you're crawling towards Jesus, to touch his hem, mm -hmm. where there is power. Amen. And so for me, I understood who I was. I'm a woman on an assignment. Mm. And the devil is not happy. And my testimony my faith is igniting someone's faith tonight, mm. this morning, wherever you're watching us mm. from, it's igniting yours. If you had lost hope completely, may you hear our story and know that there is God in heaven. I heard you in the morning just singing that song, there is a God in mm. heaven. You came at the door and you're saying, singing that. I said, you have no idea. Indeed, there is a God in heaven who Amen. answers prayers. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And so... Wow. I would wow. just want a quick one, <laughs> a quick one just to say the, the declarations that we made from Shindi. Uh, we said, Mshindi, uh, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, your Lord. Amen. You are blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Amen. Your basket and storehouse shall always be full. Amen. You are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Amen. You're growing in wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. You have a kind, gentle, generous, grateful, and peaceful spirit. You have exceptional body organs operating system and very high immunity. Wow. You have wow. exceptional intellectual, emotional, social insight, and investment intelligence. You have favor with God and men and are a fruitful vine. You have an open door in corporations, continents, and kingdoms. Wow. You have a good stature and a handsome appearance. Indeed, my son is 
so Amen. cute. Yeah. Amen. And the last one, it's the tenth one. And why tenth? Uh, ten declarations is because after the tenth year is when God blessed us with a child. Mm. You will have a long and purposeful life. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. Mama Mshindi. Wow. Yes, and now we are Mama and Baba Mshindi. Amen. And God has been faithful. Amen. Yeah. You don't know, but there are so many people that your testimony is igniting. As you were talking, you know, there are things personally, I don't know about none. <laughs> I am just I've crying been waiting, here. <laughs> I've been waiting upon God. And as mm. you were talking, God was just ministering to me. You know, you, in your privacy, you're waiting upon God to answer some things. Yeah. And as you were talking, you're my answer. Wow. And, and as you're talking, you're know, my answer, and I, I, God is using me to answer me. Wow. And I'm encouraged Amen. to wait Thank upon you. the Lord in mm. that in the areas that I want mm -hmm. to mm. see the miraculous work of God. Mm. I'm waiting upon God. I've mm -hmm. been sick for from 2015, mm -hmm. taking meditations mm -hmm. of high mm -hmm. blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And I've been one, asking God this thing. That's one of the things I've been waiting upon God. Mm -hmm. Frustrating to take mm. medicine every day. And I've also taken the initiative and I said, I'm not going to concentrate on these things. Mm. I'm going to start just serving God. You Amen. Know and I'm so encouraged. Amen. Thank you so God much. bless you for coming. Ladies, I love you. Love you. Oh, Thank God. you so much, Ibli. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. This is Pour It Out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been blessed as I have been blessed every Wednesday at 3.30. You'll find us here with interesting stories as we pour it out. God bless you, my dear. Bless you. God bless you.